some alone time. I need to get my chakra con on. What a tech. Oh, great, George Clooney. Amal's getting fat? Uh, really? Seriously? Excuse me, I can floss with that bitch. Would you please feed her, money monster? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, now Janet Jackson. Okay, this is... what Judy, what body plumbing fluid will unclog my pregnant bod? Excuse me, Rhythm Nation. Maybe you should have used the Rhythm Method, okay? Why don't you get Latoya to carry that kid? Oh, God, this isn't... St Donald Trump. Okay, I got to get this one. Hey, Jude. Can Melania borrow your hot pink boa? She needs it for a Ted Cruz rally? She's going to do a feather dance? Oh, come on. Now you're pimping her out to other politicians? Okay, this better come with a foreign policy plan, bitch. Oh, wait, that's right. Malaria is the foreign policy. Yeah. Oh. Okay. What? All right, this but Okay. North Carolina? North Carolina is texting me. Goddess, can we please borrow your bathroom? Hell yeah! And you can leave the seat up. Woo! Oh, the fuck. It's, it's Judy to me. Look, look who I have here. My good friend Kathleen Madigan, who is so sweet and brought uh, her wonderful friend, um, yeah, that's right. Jody, so that's almost Judy, so that's really good. Right, close right. enough. And no. cheers to that. And I just have to talk about how, you know, Kathleen, everybody smokes a bowl, but I eat one. <laughs> well, I think it's better. It's holding together well. I'll <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> okay, love buckets. I love buckets. I have a skinny margarita. Whoa. We actually drove out to a grocery store to get help in to make it. It took a minute. It took a little bit when I asked, but but it was worth. If they're willing to drive, I'm willing to wait. And it was worth it. I feel about my drinks. I'm willing to wait. Hey, hey, how are you? Oh, are you Jean Yeah, yeah, I am. Hi. I thought I recognized you. Uh, hi, hi. What, what are you, you doing here? Well, I just moved in. I moved in. There's my house over there. It has my name on it. Wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. Don't. Don't you German dare. Chocolate. No, Judy, don't. German <gasps> chocolate. Judy, no. <sighs> no, no. <sighs> no. No. Stop, stop, stop. I got it. No. Very devastating news after the death of Judy Tenura, a very huge legendary startup comedian, a queen of in hustle or queen of herself in the comedy industry most especially stand-up who chickly styled herself as uh, the goddess of love and toured with george carlin as she built her career in the 1980s golden age of comedy has actually passed on at the age of 72 after suffering from a couple of health related issues most especially with regards to her ovary tenura died on thursday afternoon at her home in Los Angeles with her family around her and according to her publicist Roger Neal a man who actually represented her for a couple of years came out and told the press 
that the cause of death was actually as a result of long-standing ovarian issues. In a very heartbreaking, emotional and touching statement, this gentleman, Mr. Roger, also further said she was very funny, amazing, a very huge legendary performer, and it was always a happy time to be around her. Those were the words that came out of the mouth of Mr. Roger Neal, a man who actually represented Mrs. Judy for a couple of years, not until her death. Mrs. Tenura actually had claimed her birth date as November 7th, 1965. But of course, in this moment in time, we can actually confirm that she had been born in around 1949. And thus, that was according to Mr. Neil, who actually clarified. In his words, he said, Mrs. Judy, the regenerate comedian, she was actually old school and like in one of her interviews where she finally said that she couldn't reveal her age. So Mr. Neil further confirmed it that she was an actually old school lady. So she would never tell her real age. But now since she's gone, we can actually tell the world her real age. So she has died at the age of 72. That's according to the representative Mr. Roger Neal. Her heart shaped face topped with a buffered hair with a flower accent conveyed an impression of a sweet, a sweet, innocent and angelic lady that was always quickly shattered by her loud graveling delivery of acidic humor, expletives and so many others like you've heard her in the clips I've given you at the start of this video. The accordion she made a uh, actually part of her was an act and it was always instrumental of love and submission as she oh, she could always fondly recall. She was among, by the way, amongst those that generation of performers who drove the popularity of live comedy in clubs nationwide including the comedy store in Los Angeles. Love Stop in Houston around that area and Carolines in New York City. A typical male-dominated field, phone room for women including Mrs. Tenura. It was really very rare during that time in the 80s and early 90s to really find a lady who was into stand-up. She was ideally and genuinely funny, very, very hilarious. And you can actually tell even from the clips and even from the couple of tributes of those people who were actually there during her time. Part of uh, those other people actually who have come out also to pay tributes is Weird Yankovic, a man who actually also lay, lost a friend, Coolio the rapper, has also actually paid tribute to the lady, um, to the Judy, because they had worked together in the 90s on the TV series. He said it's really very, very devastating. In this moment in time, all we are doing is to keep praying for the family, fans, and everyone who was close to the Queen Judy. Rest in power, Queen. Judy Tenura.